Well, um, these, uh, the, the Hoyer Heritage models, the 6800 series and the 7800 series, both kind of came out of the old tradition of the great old Con 8Ds that were made in Elkhart, Indiana, and the old uh, crispy horns as well. And these are the types of horns that um, all of the all of the great uh, horn players out here played. Uh, the the Con ADs were also the horn of choice of of uh, the Philadelphia Orchestra back in the 1940s and 1950s. But but they really became famous here in Los Angeles through um, the Hollywood soundtracks. All the great players in the studios: Vince DeRosa, Richard Parisi, James Decker, um, Gail Robinson. Uh, Henry Zygismati, uh, the list goes on and on and on. I'm sure I would leave some great names out, not purposefully by any means. They all played Con 8Ds and they realized that it had the, the completeness of sound that, um, that, uh, that the composers were looking for, that the sound of Hollywood was looking for. And um, it, it did anything that um, the player asked it to do. But uh, once Khan left Elkhart and changed hands, the quality and the craftsmanship really went downhill, and uh, it became harder and harder and harder to find really great vintage Elkhart Khan horns. And so um, uh, Gerhard uh, went to um, some of the greatest names of horn playing in the United States. Uh, Myron Bloom, who was principal horn of, of the Cleveland Orchestra for 20 years, 25 years maybe, um, with and George Zell. With George Zell back in the day. And, and he was a big Con 8D player as well, and, and Vince DeRosa as well. And uh, he realized that there was a void in new horns with the quality of workmanship and the character of sound that uh, the old Con Elkhart horns used to be. And so he stepped up and had these horns made with the uh, advice of uh, Myron Bloom and Vince DeRosa.